I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. All right, let's rock and roll. Now we're going to paint a campfire. So let's go ahead and grab, let's start out by grabbing a huge brush, so like a number one and dry it off. And let's grab some like navy blue with even a little bit of black. So navy blue with some black. And we're gonna throw a layer of paint on our whole canvas. Actually, I might start by throwing that more towards the edges, then I'll come back and so I'm going to hit it all towards the sides first, but just some dark blue with even a little bit of black. Let's grab like a little bit of lighter blue with some dark blue, and I'm going to throw a little bit of that right up here, just because the fire would make the sky a little bit, like it would look a little bit brighter right there. So I'm going to throw a little bit of light. Go ahead and do that before I get the rest of it painted in. All right, now we're good. And then now I'm going to grab even more black throw that at the bottom because the bottom is going to be really dark. Especially like through the bottom left hand corner and bottom right hand corner like below our little rock ring. So we got us a layer on there. So now let's just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And we're going to let it dry for just a second. Actually, we can chunk it. We can go ahead and do our rocks, then let it dry. Let's go ahead and grab like a number six size brush and dry it off. And we're going to grab some dark gray. And we're going to start like a little bit left to center and throw like a rock that kind of leans up just a little bit. So kind of like an oval. And it kind of curves up. And we're going to do the same thing on the right hand side. And I would even make like one, maybe, maybe the one on the right or something bigger, just so they're not exactly the same. You want it to look kind of natural and less like intentional. So you might make that one like not lean up quite as much. And then once you started with a couple rocks, then we'll add another rock to each side. And these are gonna curve up more because it's like a ring. The perspective is gonna curve in. So we'll go ahead and And then let's add a couple more. So maybe on this side I'll add like a little part of one. And maybe even like another little part of one. And we'll do the same thing over here, sad. So like a part of a rock. And then once you have your little rocks on there, so it kind of like is curving in, let's just grab some of the gray and we're just gonna fill it in with a thin layer. And it's fine that your background's still a little bit wet because we'll come back and hit our rocks again. So just kind of do a thin little layer.
All right. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and wipe that one off. And let's grab some dark brown. So that same brush, just kind of wipe it off and grab dark brown. And we're gonna go ahead and kind of throw in a few logs. So like some, kind of like some little rectangles. And don't worry that your background's still wet because we'll come back and hit it again. And then once you, like I'm gonna throw a log up here, then I might throw a log like down here. Then maybe like a couple little parts of logs. So I'm gonna even throw like some little, kind of because whenever we throw the flame, you would even see a few little pieces of the log at the bottom kind of coming up in between. So we'll throw like a few little pieces. So just a few little brown marks. And we'll come back later and add streaks to our logs so they look, you know, more real. But we got a, a little start to them. Okay, so now that we got our start, let's grab some like, just kind of wipe that one off and grab a little bit of dark orange and dark red with that same brush. And we're gonna skip through the bottom. So all in between like our logs in the rocks and throw some tiny little bumps. So just kind of load your brush with a lot of paint and we're just gonna throw some little bumps in there. That's like gonna be the coals kinda, like the hot. And don't worry if it, you know, your background's wet, we're gonna come back and hit bump bump again. So this is kinda just getting us started. Okay, so we got it started with that. So let's go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's let it dry for just a second. Go ahead and throw another layer probably on my background just to get it thick enough so then we can add some fire. But I'm probably gonna use that huge brush again, so like a number one, and some light blue with a little bit of dark blue. And I'm just gonna kinda hit my lights kinda near the top of where the fire's gonna be. Even though you won't see too much of it at all, but you'll be able to see a smidge. And then once you have that, let's grab some more dark blue with a tiny bit of black. And then we're just gonna thicken up the rest of our night sky. Let's kind of start in the corners, get all that first, and then we can blend it in with that lighter color. But this will be good and thick, and then we won't have to add, you know, any more paint to it. And then once you have that kind of blended in, and I'm not gonna worry about getting down here really because we're getting ready to throw that fire there. All right, so we got our background kinda. Now let's go ahead and wipe that one off. Chunk it in the water. And let's grab a little bit smaller size brush, so like a number six, and dry it off. And let's hit our rocks again. 
So I'm gonna grab like a light gray, a little bit of light gray with dark gray, and I'm gonna throw like a little glare. It got really light on me. But I'm gonna throw like a glare more towards the top because then we'll come back and blend it here in a second, but just to get a little bit of light. It's so kind of a little bit of light towards the top of our rocks. And then I'm gonna grab more of that dark gray. They even, even maybe like a teeny tiny bit of like a caramel brown, but mostly dark gray. And now we'll just thicken up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of that caramel just cause I got too much brown. But we're just gonna thicken them up with mainly that dark gray color. Freak them up even more. Okay, so we got a layer kind of going on on our rocks. Now let's grab a little bit of black with dark gray, a little bit more black. And I'm gonna throw like a dark, kind of like a dark layer towards the bottom of almost all of them. You can even throw like a little bit of the black to kind of separate. Okay, well, that's a start to our rocks. We can come back and do a little bit better. And then while you have that same one, let's grab some black kind of by itself and let's fill in those bottom corners again. That way we have those kind of thickened up in case you had any parts that needed to be. And then we'll just wipe that one off. So use the same size, like a number six, or you could swap out to like a little smaller, like a four. But I'm gonna use that same one and wipe it off. And now I'm gonna grab kind of some dark brown with like some medium brown. And I'm gonna throw some streaks in through my logs. And I'm gonna throw a bunch, like you don't wanna paint it in solid, but throw a bunch, cause then I'm gonna come back and streak with some dark here in a second. So I'm gonna kind of over streak it, cause then I can come back and blend it a little bit better. All right, so the start to my streaks. Now let's go ahead and grab a little bit more dark brown and I'm just gonna streak back in with some dark brown. Now 
And then once you have some more streaks to your logs, then just kind of wipe off your extra. And let's grab some more like orange and red together. And now we're gonna bump just a few more like hot coals kind of the, and just kind of skip around. We'll probably do less this time because you'll still be able to see some of those original ones that we bumped in there. All right, so we got a little, our coals kind of looking more like coals. Then let's go ahead and wipe off our extra paint and chunk that one in the water. So let's use that teeny tiny brush, so like a number one, and dry it off. And we're gonna grab kind of like a sky blue color. You can have a little bit of dark with it, but a sky blue kind of with a little bit of dark. And now we're gonna skip around and throw just a few stars just kind of through the top. Cause you wouldn't see like many more. So like just up here. And whenever you do it, don't like, make them perfect, like a perfect pattern, because that would jump out at you. You just kind of want to be random with it. So I'm going to do a few in one place, then skip somewhere else. And whenever you're doing it, just kind of barely touch. And you don't need to like go over them more than once, because it's fine if they're just kind of barely there. You don't want them to really jump out at you. But I'm just going to throw a few And then once you have that, so that's probably as many stars as we need, I'll just wipe that one off and we're gonna, gonna let it dry for just a second. Let's get some flames. Let's throw some flames. I'd probably use like a number six or number eight, one of those, and dry it off. And let's grab like some gold with maybe like a little bit of orange. And now let's go ahead and throw, I'm gonna start by throwing like some really tall ones probably. So load your brush with a lot of paint and then just be really light with it. So load it up with a lot of paint and then just be really light. I'm still gonna use the orange and gold and maybe throw a couple shorter ones because you want a few taller ones probably through the middle and then like a little bit shorter through the sides. Which this isn't gonna look great right at the beginning but we're gonna come back and throw like more flames over it so kind of just go for it. flamethrowers and let's go ahead and through the bottom maybe grab more of like the yellow and white and I'm just gonna throw in some thick streaks because we'll come back and make it look more I'm just gonna kind of fill it in a little bit at the bottom right near your logs and stuff
looks crazy, but once we add some darks and some oranges. All right, so we're getting a little bit of this filled in. But the trick is to load your brush with a lot of paint and then be real light with it. So we have the start of our fire. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit more dark flames in there. So we're gonna grab, you don't have to rinse out your brush, but just grab a little bit of like dark red and orange. And I'm gonna throw those more kind of to the sides, so to the top sides. Just in a few places. Might even grab a little bit of caramel brown with it. Trying to see. Maybe even a little bit more. All right, so we got a little bit of start to our dark. We might let that dry and then throw in some more color. So let's wipe that one off, chunk it in the water. And I would grab a little bit smaller size brush, so like a number four or a number six and dry it off. And let's grab some white with maybe even a tiny bit of off-white. And we're gonna throw us some marshmallows. So let's start like maybe up here near your fire, let's start with like a, kind of like a bumpy circle shape and fill it in. Cause we'll probably have to come back and hit them again. And then let's go ahead and throw like half of one, so maybe like a little half of a rectangle. You can kind of curve out the end over here on the edge. And then I'm gonna wait to do that one since that's a little wet right now. I'll go ahead and skip over here to this side, maybe throw me like another circle. I just wouldn't do them exactly the same. And maybe like how I'm doing three over here and two over here, maybe have like you know, a different amount, just so it won't be too perfect, look more natural. So I'm gonna get a bumpy circle on there. Then let's go ahead and throw one more right there. And it's all right that a little bit of that fire color got mixed with that because we're gonna actually come back and add some caramel to them anyway. Alright, so we got to start today, so let's wipe that one off, chunk it in the water, and let's grab like a number four. So you could use a tiny one or like a number four size. I'm going to grab a number four and dry it off and grab some dark brown, and I'm going to throw on my little sticks to connect them. So dark brown, and I'm, for this stick, I'm going to start probably further down over here. and just load your brush with some paint. I'm gonna let curve all the way up here to this little round one. And then I'm just gonna kinda continue the little twig.
And then I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to throw a little, let it branch off. And then I'm going to let this branch off over here. And then I'm going to skip over here and I might let this one hit like a little bit higher up so it's not like hits in the same spot exactly. And then I'm just going to carry my little twig off on one side. And then I'm just going to throw a little twig off of this one. All right, so we got our little branches start our little fire roasting sticks. Now I would grab even a little bit of the lighter browns and add like a little bit of that. All right, so we got that going on. Now while we have the lighter browns, let's throw a few more streaks through our logs. Get those more looking like wood. So kind of just load your brush and be real light with it. And be like a little bit heavier streaking like towards the top. That way you'll have a little bit of a shadow towards the bottom. All right. Then once you have that, just wipe that one off. Let's chunk it in the water and let it dry real quick. All right, let's get our marshmallows looking a little bit better. But grab like a number four or number six and dry it off. And we'll grab kind of some more white and off white. And we'll just thicken up like one little part of our marshmallows to kind of like the top of. And then we'll come back with to make them look more roasted. We'll just kind of thicken up the top part. And now we'll grab a little bit of caramel with that off white. Now we're going to throw like through your circle ones. I would just kind of make like one side of them. You know how when you put it in the fire, it kind of gets a little, little bumpy. I would just do that to one side. And then we'll do that same kind of thing to these, just kind of Throw more of the dark through one side, and then we'll kind of throw it one side and then the bottom. All right, 
Then let's just wipe that one off. So we got our marshmallows looking better. Wipe it off and let's grab some more of that pale yellow and white. And we're gonna throw a few more flames. So we want some light ones. So just load your brush with a lot of paint and go for it. But you can kind of tweak yours. You'll have to keep throwing flames until you get it like you want it. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the pale orange and yellow together and throw a few of those. our fire looking a little bit better there hopefully then we'll grab a little bit of caramel and orange and add maybe just a couple more of those to the top so like a caramel brown and the orange and really you just want that like more towards the the top ones So you could throw a few more flames if you wanted it bigger, but I'm just gonna go with my little fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a teeny tiny brush and dry it off. And now we have the campfire. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.